on the way there, I get a call from, from Rescue 4 from the firehouse, and they said, Captain Hickey, uh, Brian Hickey said for all of us to meet at the firehouse, grab your gear, and we're going to go down together as a unit down to, uh, down to the Trade Center. I rerouted, and I went to, to the firehouse, which, luckily for me, I, I, if I would have went straight, direct there, without my gear, I, I probably wouldn't be sitting here doing this interview because uh, we, we lost a lot of... Uh, a lot of brothers that, that just, you know, just shot right down there and, uh, you know, they weren't working that day and they, they didn't make it. We, we drove in, you know, light speed, uh, right over the 59th Street Bridge. All, all the traffic now was shut down. We shot right in, right over to the West Side Highway, turning, coming down the second, the second tower, you know, we, we watched that come down. There's some things you just can't forget, like that vision of just pulling up on, on what that looked like. It was, uh, I always used the term biblical. It was like something out of the, you know, like the Old Testament, for lack of a better word. Like, you know, just like the the hand of, you know, God or the devil, or, you know, just came and just smashed, smashed the earth, you know, right there. Then as we came up closer, you could see like rigs that were crushed. I remember seeing like uh, Rescue Three's rig, Rescue One's rig, you know, crushed down. Uh, Ladder threes, you know, all these companies now that, that, that lost everybody. I remember vividly, like, walking by those rigs. And I remember uh, another memory is uh, Father John DeLendick, who's the fire department chaplain. I just remember him walking out of a dust cloud, and he, he walks towards me, and, and he, he comes up, and he goes, Liam, he goes, we lost Father Judge. And that was the first person I was told that, that, that had perished. And uh, he turns around, and he goes, you're looking at hell back there. You know, he just pointed back at, you know, the destruction. So uh, <clears throat> we went forward, and uh, we kind of, it was hard to pick a spot to start. You thought, you know, ideally we thought there'd be hundreds, if not thousands of survivors, people trapped somewhere, people in a pocket, people, like, under steel. But, I mean, it was, uh, it, it was that wasn't the case. Uh, it was like a clean death blow. I, I said it was a day of lefts and rights. If you went left, you lived. If you went right, you died. And there was really not too much in between. That was very frustrating. You know, we're, we're in a rescue business. We're in the, the, the uh, business of saving lives. And, uh, you know, th there wasn't too many people to save.